Seven people have died after a Hawker Hunter jet crashed into several vehicles during Shoreham Air Show. Southeast Coast Ambulance Service said the victims died at the scene, while another person is critical in hospital. The number of injured stands at 14. The plane crashed on the nearby 827. Witnesses said it was performing a loop but could not complete the maneuver. Prime Minister David Cameron sent his heartfelt condolences to the families of those who died in the crash. Eyewitness Stephen Jones said, the aeroplane involved is a Hawker Hunter T Mark 7. And he'd just begun his flying display. He'd gone up into a loop and as he was coming out of the loop, I just thought, you're too low, you're too low, pull up. And he flew straight into the ground either on or very close to the A-27, which runs past the airport. They lit Southall, who was driving along the A-27 in West Sussex with her two children, said the plane came down close to them. We were waiting for it to go back up and it didn't, it seemed to kind of split into, she said. There were huge amounts of fire and we ran from the car to kind of avoid the debris because we were about 15 meters away. We were just across the road from where the accident happened. A spokesman for Sussex Police said emergency services had declared a major incident with a number of helicopters deployed to the scene following the crash which happened at about 13.20 PSD. He said, the casualties are all believed to have occurred on the road at this time and there are not thought to be any injuries to anyone actually on the airfield. The Air Accident Investigation Bureau are attending the scene and have asked anyone who has video or photographs of the plane in the time leading up to and including the crash to hold on to them and await advice as to whether they may be wanted to assist with the investigation. Massive fireball for President Dave Penwarden, 51, said he saw the plane explode. The plane was coming out of the loot the loot, it was fairly low, he said. It just didn't seem to have enough speed to come out of the loot. Instead of powering out it dropped too fast and hit the ground. There was a massive fireball and an awful lot of smoke. Afterwards there was a stunned silence. Garo Gomez, who works nearby, said, I heard a huge bang and the glass was shaking and the doors were banging. The whole building was shaking. I saw some smoke later on. At the time I didn't realize what had happened. Then I was told the plane had crashed. It's terrible. Tim Luff and MP, who represents East Worthing and Shoreham, tweeted, Tragic news that there have been fatalities at the Shoreham Air Show crash and our thoughts and prayers must be with the families and casualties. The A-27 will remain closed until Monday, when it is expected to reopen from 6 o'clock BSD, Highway England said. There are currently delays of around 30 minutes between the junctions with the A24 South and the A2023.